Hey, Wood Butcher. Sorry for the noise, but I got the uh, 3D printers going overtime here. I'm uh, looking at, uh, oh, I did an upgrade to my filament dryer. This is one of the Sunlu off shoot, off cut kind of types. Basically, it's just a uh, filament uh, um, dryer with uh, one element in the bottom. It's got a couple rollers on the bottom that the filament goes out of. It has a little notch in the front where I guess you can feed out the front. And then it has a spot up here that would fit some PTFE tubing. And that's basically it. The thing I did find was it worked, but maybe not as effective as it was. And it really kind of only heated the bottom of the filament. I started getting some inconsistent results with that. And I know there's been some uh, guys that have done some phenomenal upgrades, but my challenge is I didn't want to have to tear it all apart and solder into this and do a circuit and all that kind of stuff. All I wanted was a fan to circulate some air uh, around here, kind of keep everything going. And I wanted a way to hook that fan up without having to modify anything. So it's really easy. On Amazon, they have these barrel connector uh, Y splitters. So basically it takes one barrel connector, takes an input, two outputs. Now, these things run on 24 volts. So you have to be really careful. You have to get a 24 volt and I got the, uh, uh, was it radial or axial? Anyways, it's this type of fan where it kind of takes it in from the side and blows it out one direction. I wanted that so it blew this way in a fairly compact format. It has two holes I drilled, and these are just 440 bolts uh, I had from some RC stuff. Again, I do RC, woodworking, whatever else. I drilled a, uh, was it 3 16 hole? Maybe not, maybe that's a bit high. A hole big enough for the wire to go through, I sleeved it and put a little bit of strain relief with some uh, heat shrink tubing on this end. And I had a bunch of these barrel connectors um, hanging around. So I connected to a barrel connector. It's really easy. All you do is you're gonna connect your heater. Sorry for the absolute crappy uh, videoing there, but this is just a quick one off the shelf. And once that's connected, then all you need to do to hook the fan up, plug that in and you're good to go. Again, 24 volt fan, gotta make sure on that. Don't get the 12 volt. Uh, let me have a look here. Can you see through there? DC 24 volts takes, you know, what point zero five of an amp, next to nothing. I'm pretty sure the power supply can handle that amount. The other thing I did was I drilled three holes up here. Now. This is effectively a sealed box. I'm thinking by drilling some holes, at least I'll get a little bit of airflow maybe coming out and helping to allow some moisture to escape. That's my thought. I don't know if it's gonna work. I've never had condensation in this box, but I know some other guys have. I live in the center of Canada where it's bloody cold all the time. It doesn't matter what we do. We always have really low humidity unless it's the middle of summer. And we have air conditioning, so it keeps the humidity pretty reasonable. So. This is my uh, my little setup here. It only goes up to 55 degrees, but uh, it should work okay. I also have, oh, Al, well, I really prepared for this video. I have one of these temperature probes. I, I bought about four of them just to see what's going on. So give me temperature and humidity. Um, right now it's 42% in the house, about 19 degrees Celsius in the basement here. So I'm gonna hook it up, let it go for a little bit, and then I'll show you how it's working. I think this is going to be an improvement. Uh, the filament dryer worked okay before, but let's see if we can make it better. Okay, so I have it all set up here. Uh, just started it. It's uh, currently 42% humidity. It's 22.9 degrees in there. Let's set this thing go for about an hour and let's see how we do. Quite often I found that this part was quite warm and this part up here was quite a bit cooler. Let's see if maybe they're a little bit more equal after the fan's going and kind of circulates the, the air there. All right. Okay, wood butchers, this has been going for, I don't know, about three or four hours. So we got down to 17% humidity. Uh, maximum temperature with the sensor right on top of the filament was 48.5. This is PLA, you know, in my experience, PLA really doesn't need to be dried, but I dry it anyways, why not, it's here. So I'm just gonna leave the heat on. I'm gonna feed the filament into the printer and uh, 
do a print. We'll see how that uh, does. But anyways, I'll leave you back to it. Go into your shop, into your craft room, into your whatever room. Make a mess. Have some fun. Let's uh, all avoid from uh, getting uh, socked by snowstorms and other garbage kind of weather that uh, some of us may be having. Otherwise, have a great evening, everybody. Not a bad little mod. We'll see how it uh, does in the long run.